Welcome to Luke Tyne, a world of ghosts and ash, where the sun is gone and the barrier between life and death has vanished. But today, the archivist came to meet me here and show me around her world. Greetings. As you know, I'm the archivist. It's a pleasure to meet you. I suppose we'll begin our tour in the heart of the Imperium, one of the major factions of Luke Tyne. This is the capital city. It's beautiful. So I suppose it's very important to the people here. It is where our, our dear Queen of Embers resides, where she looks over everyone and watches over what we all do. It's also where we have the Shadowed Sun, which provides a simulacrum of day-night to the Imperial City. What sort of person is this Queen of Embers? Well, I can only say good things about her. She is one of the ones responsible for what little remains of our world. We owe our lives to her, and our protection to her as well. Her and the Bureau of Paranormal Seekers, they are also housed here, or at least their main headquarters is here in the capital. Oh, what sort of faction are the Seekers? I mean, what do they do more specifically? The Bureau are peacekeepers, essentially, though their domain is mainly of the supernatural. While our lightning barriers keep out most dangers, there is still the danger when the supernatural invades our own cities. Their job is to protect, contain, and repel any sort of dangers of that type. It sounds like a very dangerous job. It can be, yes. Especially the fact that any sort of rogue spirit can quickly become problematic for our people, but under Grand Commander Animus, they do well enough to keep things steady. I see. So is that what the lightning wall is as well for the spirits? Yes. Every city within Ember, Ikatia, and the Arda Isles are protected by lightning barriers such as these. Azarin has their own means of protection. Oh, I see. The lightning barriers are maintained by Electotex within each city. Electotex? Are those people who There are craftsmen, our inventors. Some of the most brilliant minds in Electotex come from the capital city. That's why it's got its reputation as the city of innovation. The Seekers, if they deal with such dangerous things, do they have any sort of powers or special abilities that let them handle the increased dangers that they face? Well, most Seekers do not have any sort of special abilities, but, but there is another branch of Seekers. They're known as the Silver Seekers. They are Arcanists employed and trained to be Seekers. Oh, what are Arcanists? Ah. <laughs> A silly me, I forgot to mention that. Arcanists are those who practice or are otherwise entangled with magical forces. I myself am an arcanist, and as is our dear Queen of Embers. Oh, I see. I would probably be considered an arcanist as well then. Likely, yes. <laughs> Generally, if you are outside of the realm of mundanity, you would likely be classified as some sort of arcanist. Generally, it is frowned upon by arcanists to be unsupervised, if at all. (laughs) Uh, Some seekers take their jobs a little far at times. Ah, I understand. Though you should have no trouble as long as you're with me. I will take care not to cause any problems nonetheless. That's a good thing. Especially here in the capital, with the Grand Commander being the main stationed one here, this is the least last place you wish to get into any sort of trouble of that sort. I understand. There is more to see if you're interested. Of course. Please, lead the way. We'll be returning to where I reside, in Alamir, city north of the capital. Oh, I see. Specifically, we'll be going to the place that's most dear to me, the Grand Imperial Archives. There are quite a few books here. Yes, the goal of the Imperial Archives is to keep record of as much and all information that we can. 
we lost much during the calamity. We try to prevent that same loss from happening again. There are some works that were saved, but much was lost. See, this calamity, what kind of calamity was it? That is the grand question many scholars ask, but essentially, the calamity was the end of the natural world and the birth of our world when the process, the cycle of life and death was shattered irreparably and we are merely left to sift through its ashes and pick up the pieces as best we can. I see. I suppose a place with so much knowledge like this must have any, must have strange rumors or something around it, right? <laughs> the Imperial Archives are, do tend to be a popular target for some rather unsavory groups who wish to plunder its secrets. But the Seekers and the Curator herself are very keen to keep those safe from any who will try to steal from us. Where you are now is the public section, where we allow people to view and find research that we need. Knowledge is important to an Alamir though many keep their secrets close at hand as well. In general, you will need to inform ahead of time if you wish to come here. But we will not turn away if there are seekers available to escort and watch over visitors, should they come on a whim. Mm, we, do not wish to, we do not wish to hoard knowledge to keep it away, but we must be careful. I understand completely. It's an honor to be here, though. Well, as the curator, I do have special privilege when it comes to here. This is my collection that I guard and watch over. If you'll follow me, though, we can speak a little more freely in my own study. Oh, of course. And here we will... There we are safe from prying eyes. Not even the queen can see here. It's so lovely here. It's very cozy and sweet. Although, given how you're dressed, I was expecting it to be a much colder place. Ah, uh, most of my appearance is due to acts in the past. Oh, I apologize. I don't mean to bring up oh. difficult topics. <laughs> Your mere mention would, would not be enough to bring any off feelings. <laughs> the reminder is all around us. I suppose so. I mostly just keep my appearance concise. When I am not curating the library here, I also work as the leader for Alamir, governor. Alamir have a good relationship with the capital? Alamir is the academic heart of Ember. While the capital may be its seat of progress, this is where the mind is, where some of the brightest come from. Oh, like the Elector text you mentioned earlier. Yes. Well, since we're in confined quarters, tell me, what's a secret that only the locals know about this place? Well, hmm, that only the locals know. Well, it is no secret that Alamir is surrounded by a spectral storm. It's often called the Quiet Pass. Too much noise will draw out rather unwanted attention from what lies within. But I do have a few outposts, safe houses, hideaways, whatever you wish to call them, high up in the mountains, beyond the light barrier, where I like to and some trusted friends will at times meet to discuss oh. and observe the world as no one can really see. I see, even the queen then. I believe she went there once, but... She rarely leaves her her opal tower. Oh, that we saw in their first city. Yes. Well, I suppose I ought to try to get some rest before my journey onwards tomorrow. Uh, where would you like me to stay for tonight? We have some spare quarters here at the archives. It would likely be best for you to stay somewhat close by until you leave. While you are safe with my protection, as I said before, some seekers can get a little excited to do their job. I understand. I won't cause any problems. Thank you. Uh, I appreciate you taking the time to show me around. I know that you have a lot of responsibilities. I 
really liked learning about your arcanists and your seekers. Um, they seem like very powerful and important people. Next time I'll have to go and visit that other continent you mentioned. What was it? Azarin? Yes, Azarin. Though, I may send you there with some friends of mine, as well, even all the trip to the capital is <laughs> not quite allowed. I understand. Well, in that case, I'll be looking forward to meeting your friends. Yes. For now, I'm going to go to sleep, but thank you very much for showing me around again. Thank you very much to my Moray, who worked with me once again. Uh, she's worked with me in previous writing advice videos. Today, obviously, she got to show me around her world. Her lore is incredible and so inspirational to me. I really love her particular take on this gas lamp fantasy world. If you're interested in learning more about the archivists or the seekers or arcanists, just Luke Tyne in general, please go check out her other work. Links in the description and on screen. I will see you guys next time for my next Tour de la Worlds video.